You'll often hear financial pundits like myself say that the stock market hates uncertainty. Why? Well, uncertainty is what leads to stock market drops and volatility. My name is Kurt Fillmore, and I'm the president and founder of WealthTrack Financial. And in today's video, we're here to discuss why there's so much uncertainty in the markets today and help you better deal with the uncertainty. So what is happening today that's causing so much uncertainty? Well, there are a number of factors at play here. Inflation, the Fed, interest rates, potential recession. So inflation is sky high today, and the Federal Reserve doesn't like that. They want to tame inflation. So the way that they do that is by raising interest rates. So we know that the Federal Reserve is going to be raising interest rates. We just don't know how much and for how long. That is uncertain. But why is this potentially a problem for the economy? The problem is, is when interest rates go up, it tends to slow down the economy. People tend to save more and spend less. Now, if people are spending less, this can impact the bottom line of our corporations. So corporate earnings go down. Now, if corporate earnings go down, we in turn see recession. So this is all uncertain. Are we going to go into recession? Are we already in recession? What are interest rates going to do? What's going to happen with inflation? All this uncertainty is causing the stock market volatility. Now, here are three major things you need to understand today with all the uncertainty. Number one is we need to be grateful for where we are. You know, we've seen a tremendous run in the stock market over the last 13 years. We've seen the longest bull market in the history of the stock market. So many people have more money in their investment accounts today than they ever have in their lives. Even though we're not at the very top right now, you still have the opportunity to secure a financial future for yourself. Second, we need to review this as a reality check. The stock market doesn't go up in a straight line. You know, typically we see a lot of up and down in the market. We just haven't seen that very much in recent years. So what's happened is the stock market seemed invincible. And this has led a lot of people to take more risk in their investment accounts than they actually realize. So do you actually know how much risk you're taking in your portfolio today? This is something that's really important to understand considering all the volatility. Third is have a comprehensive financial plan. You know, your portfolio alone is not a plan. You need to be considering all aspects of planning, such as income planning for the future and how you're going to how you're going to take social security. Look at taxes, plan for tax increases in the future. What about health care and protecting a spouse? All these things need to come together to create a comprehensive financial plan. Now, once you have all these things addressed, it can help you feel much more grounded. You can start to see the big picture rather than focusing more on the short term. So having a plan like this will allow you to take a long term view of your finances and your future rather than looking at these short term fluctuations. So are we going to see a lot of uncertainty moving forward? Absolutely. Can it be stressful? Sure. But we can get through this. You know, I hope that you got a lot out of this video. Uh, if you'd like to discuss these topics further or any other topic, feel free to reach out and I'll respond directly.